what's going on infinite fam welcome back to another video if you guys are new to the channel make sure you guys hit that subscribe button turn on your post notification bell leave a positive comment down below for a chance to get a post notification shout out at the end of today's video today's video is going to be a bit of a dangerous one guys your boy is going to be coming for his girlfriend's tattoos i'm going to be saying stuff like they're ugly they're hideous i don't know why she got them all while pretending to be on a phone call making a removal for her tattoos now janice is currently in the bathroom we woke up not too long ago so she's still in there getting ready so i have a little bit of time to tell you guys what's going on so like i said before guys i'm going to be pretending to make a tattoo removal appointment for Janice. I'm going to have the laptop open with Google, you know, tattoo removal places, stuff like that. And I'm also going to be pretending to be on the phone talking to this imaginary person about like Janice's tattoos and how they're ugly and she needs to get them removed, so on and so forth. But I think you guys pretty much get the idea of what's going on. So if you guys are ready for today's video, make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button. Comment down below, Team Isaiah all day, every day. You guys already know I'm always bringing you guys the bangers. Let's get into it. No, yeah, she has a pretty big tattoo, I would say, on her left forearm. Yeah. No, I, I mean, it's pretty detailed. It has, like, a snake on it, and it's, like, in between a bunch of, like, greenery and flowers and stuff like that. It's honestly ugly. I don't know why she got it to begin with. Like, I feel like it's too big, but... Yeah, it's, like, one of those things, like, you know, you look at it and you're like, why'd you do that kind of thing? Yeah. So she has that one, that's her biggest one. Her other big one is also on her ribs. That one is like one of those cliche quotes that you find like on Pinterest or something like that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So it's written in cursive. Yeah, it's written in cursive. I would say it's about maybe like four or five lines. Yeah, that's her other big one. That one's on her rib. Do you think the one on the rib would hurt more to remove? Okay. Okay, so it's pretty much gonna feel the same no matter where. Okay, no, 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 that's, that's her. Yeah, the big one is on her arm and then on the rib, that's it. Those are the only two big ones when she has. Then she has small ones, she has one on her left, same arm as the one with the snake. She has like a butterfly on her tricep, same arm. Yeah, then she has another one on her ankle. That one's the one of a ghost, I don't know why she got that one out of that one, that one was just stupid. Ooh. That one. That one's on her right ankle, on the inside of her leg. Yeah. She has like a bunch of little ones, but they're like all on her forearm, so they kind of like... I don't want to say they're part of like the snake tattoo, but you know, they, you might as well consider it like all one piece, because they're all like put together. Yeah. So how much would it be to get all of them removed then? I don't know if you want to consider the one with the snake as you know, combined with the, like, the, the other ones and stuff like that. Like, I don't, I don't know how you guys go about the pricing and the packaging and all that. Okay, so you need this. That's what I was assuming. You would need the dimensions of the tattoos. Okay. No, so, if, I mean, can you just email me the packages and, like, the pricing and all that and as far as, like, what each package covers? And then I'll just go ahead and get the dimensions of her tattoos and then I guess we'll pick out whichever one is best for her. Yeah, same email I gave you in the beginning of the phone call, yeah. Okay, no, I'll definitely be checking my email. Thank you so much for your help. Really appreciate it. Thank you so much. You as well. Bye-bye. Okay, what happened? What's up? What are, you, what are you doing? Looking at tattoo removal services. That's what it's called, tattoo, tattoo removal services. For what? For you, for you. I don't have tattoos. You have tattoos. Why do you want to look up tattoo removal services for me? So we can get your tattoos removed. Why? Hey, why not? I don't need my tattoos removed. I don't want them removed. Why are you I thought there was one, I thought there was one of the tattoos that you didn't like. There was one in there that you didn't like. No. I like all my tattoos. Okay, well, I'm just trying to help you out. For what? How do you How do you expect that this is going to help me out? Because... In this world, you already know how it is. The stereotype, the stigma behind tattoos is just bad, right? Everyone's like, oh, if you have tattoos, you're a thug, you're a gangster. Oh, you look dirty, you're not professional, you know, so on and so forth. I'm not one of those people. However, I'm just trying to help you out because the whole world is like that, right? So I don't want you to not succeed in this world because you have tattoos. I'm already successful. What are you talking about? And I like that, but I want you to go even beyond that. I want you to go further. And like, let's say like, say someone would... I don't know, say Netflix wants to cast you for a show, right? And they'll be like, oh, no, we, we'd love to have her, but unfortunately she has, you know, an arm full of tattoos, and we can't do that. 
You know what I mean? Like, I don't want you to miss out on something like that. So I want to go ahead and make a tattoo removal appointment for you. And then you go ahead. I'm covering the cost, so don't worry about that. And yeah, I'm just trying to figure out what's the best pricing as far as like all these places. Babe, I'm not taking off my tattoos. And I understand what you're saying about the whole role thing. But honestly, if they really want me, they'll hire makeup artists and they'll cover it. Okay, but again, like I feel like there's a solution to everything, so I'm not really worried about it. If I'm not worried about it, you shouldn't be worried about it. Worry about yourself. I am worried about myself, but at the same time, I want what's best for you as well. I understand they want what's best for me, but like my, you're acting like my tattoos are like in I, the way of me becoming successful or I just, growing I just in think my it's life. best. I just think it's best if you remove your tattoos, especially the one on your arm and the one on your wrist. Okay, Those are the biggest pieces. My rib tattoo is small. I don't know what you're talking about. That is about. not small. That's Babe, like, yep. this is small. What are you talking about? That's oh, not a big piece. Oh, I told him like four or five lines. Yeah, it's like literally two lines, so I don't know what I you're mean, talking about. I mean, it's still pointless, though. I mean, the other one is pointless, too. The one the snake, it was like honestly stupid that you got it. But I'm, like I said, I'm trying to help you. All right, you. hold up. I'm trying to help you. Hold on. Backtrack. What did you just say to me right now? What do you mean what I just said? What? Did you just say that my tattoos are pointless? The one with the snake, that one was pointless. The one over there, you got that one from like, it seems like you got that from like Pinterest or something like that. And then you don't like, even know, to recite to me what the tattoo random, says. Then you got a random eyeball just sitting. It's not random. That's a random eyeball. Babe, you know exactly how much these tattoos Babe, these to tattoos, me and what they're for. These tattoos, they gotta go. If you wanna further yourself They gotta in life, go. Who do you know, think you are? Do you wanna further yourself in life or not? You That's do, not right? up to you. Babe, I feel like you're being ungrateful. Oh, so, go for what? I'm trying to help you out and better you, and you're over here saying, "Oh, I'm not dead." Like, I feel like you're being offensive and you're insulting. I'm not me. being offensive. You know, I'm just a blunt person. Just, well, I'm getting offended by what you're saying, so you're obviously being well, offensive. Well, toughen up. Don't tell me to toughen up. What is wrong with you? If I send you these places, can you look at the reviews? No, and you're good with stuff. No, like that. no, no, no. There's I'm not removing you... my tattoos. You literally just. How long are you on the phone with this guy? Whole time I was in the bathroom? I've been emailing and calling people all morning. But I mean, Do you there's see, one you here. You could have been doing something more productive with your time. There's one here. This is a waste. There's one here that it says is in New York. They have really good reviews. I don't but care. I, don't wanna, I really don't want to go to New York. Okay, you don't have to. There's another one. Babe, I'm telling you, I'm not. Look, there, no, look. Look, there's one here. There's one here. It says it's five minutes away. I we can go not there. Removing. My tattoos. All right, well, Get it through your head. All right. Well, if you want to miss out on life and all that, and just have. Stupid... How am I missing out on life? If you How? Want, if you want to miss out on life and not better yourself because of stupid tattoos, then. Stop I'm... calling my tattoos stupid. They're stupid. They're not stupid, actually. Every single piece that I have represents somebody from my family. So no, stop no. being an ass no, and you're doesn't. pissing me off. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. Who does a snake represent? That's for my dad, you dummy. How is that for your dad? Because I told you the story behind it. You're really pissing me off right now. That's not okay for you to say. Okay, what about the fairy? The fairy is for my grandmother. Do you want to wow. continue? You said, the, you said the other one was for your grandma, the writing. Do you want to continue? Like I said, I'm just trying to help you out, and I feel like you're being ungrateful. I'm, I'm not being ungrateful. You're actually pissing I, me off now I will because... go ahead and make the appointment and pay for it and everything. You just got to show up. So... When are we doing this? They have ability next week. Availability. Learn how to speak before you come Availability. They have it next week. Alright, if you want to go ahead and just take your time to think about it and calm down. I know you're mad right now, but honestly... I just don't get your perspective. This is for the good. This is for you. This is good for you. How is it good for me? Baby, you're, you're not giving me any valid points. You're too angry right now. You're not really thinking things through. All right, Babe, just go listen. settle down a little bit and just we'll talk in about a half hour whenever you like figure your, yourself out and calm down. Figure we'll... myself out. I don't have anything to figure out, babe. Seriously. Okay. okay. You're acting like I'm going to miss out on big opportunities in the future because I have tattoos. Like my tattoos don't define who I am. I feel personally like my personality speaks for itself. My work ethic speaks for itself. So if somebody no one wants sees to that though. They don't wait, see that though. Wait. They only see what they I'm see. I'm not done talking. I'm not done talking. Go ahead. If somebody wants to stereotype me based off of my tattoos, then that says to me that they're not someone that I want to work with. And that's how I feel about that situation. 
So every single thing that you said is invalid. What, the world is going to see me some type of way? They're going to think I'm this or that? I'm the world has their opinions on me anyway. Okay, yes. I know would who you I not am. Ra- would you not rather them have good opinions rather than... No. They, don't, they, don't they say that you get judged within like the first like five seconds of meeting someone? But that's the thing. Everybody gets judged. Okay, I don't care. but you have a more negative chance of being judged negatively. I think if I word that right, I probably didn't. No, did. probably but, didn't. Right, but, exactly. But I don't want you to get judged negatively just because you have blobs of ink all over you. Blobs of ink. So, Do you see how you're saying stuff though? It's like the way that you're wording things and the, I feel like you're like, oh, I don't mind your tattoos or whatever. But like the way that you're saying it, it's just messed up. You're like trying to talk down on my tattoos. And what makes me upset more so is that you know what they mean to me. And you know what each each in individual tattoo rep- represents. So you're not being ungrateful. I'm not being ungrateful. And so I'm not, honestly getting kind of emotional about it. So you're not doing the tattoo removal? No. Even if I pay for it and I book it and I take you there and everything? Yes. You're not doing it? No, I'm not doing it. Okay, well... Maybe I'm just jealous. Jealous? Maybe I want tattoos and I haven't gotten one yet because I can't find the right freaking person to do my tattoos. Look at the camera on top of the end table over there. Look at the camera on top of the end table over there, bro. I want tattoos. I just can't find no one. I can't find no one to do my tattoo. No, get out. Find me a person to do my tattoos. I want tattoos. I just can't find anyone. You're not even letting your son in. Find me someone to get my tattoos done, bro. Everybody I show you, you say, oh, it's not my style. Bro, because it's not. You know what I like. And I okay. feel like the only people I find that I like can do my tattoos, they live in like California or freaking Florida. And we're not over there yet. Did you forget what my tattoos meant? No. I know okay. what my tattoos meant. I'll say them right now. Here no, no. What? I didn't explain what my tattoos mean. You did a majority of it. You might as well let me say it now. No. Okay, why not? Because I have plans. What plans? I want to oh, do a tattoo tour, know, so know, let's just not talk okay, about okay, it. Okay, okay, okay. I was going to give up a little too much. All <laughs> exactly. Right, all right, I get it. I get it. My fault. All right, guys. So that is it for today's video. I 100% do not feel like anything I was saying over there. I don't want to see any comments like that. If anything, I always told Janice that I feel like her tattoos fit her style, and I'm not going to lie. They're, they're kind of hot. Especially the one like on your rib and the, all right, all right. we're not gonna get into it. We're not gonna get into it. However, though, there is a bad stigma and like stereotyping when it comes to like tattoos and stuff like that. It's always viewed in a negative light. I feel like it shouldn't be like that. I feel like tattoos are art, you know, and especially if you have meaningful tattoos like she has, they all have a, a significant meaning. If it means something to a person, you shouldn't be judging it in a negative way. So with all that being said, guys, it is now time for today's post notification shout out. Today's post notification shout out goes out to Nigel Stewart. Shout out to you, bro. Thank you so much for having your post notifications turned on. If you guys want a post notification shout out, all you guys got to do is like, comment, share, and subscribe and turn your post notification bells on so you're notified whenever we post a new video. And with all that being said, we'll see you guys in the next video.